In the past 20 years, Israel high tech has shown quick recovery from similar conflicts. And even though this specific event is different than anyone we have seen before, uh, we have true confidence that the sector will be able to quickly recover from this impact and, and go back to normal as quickly as possible. Uh, the high tech sector has shown a very strong resilience and agility in shifting internal resources to make sure that business continuity, customer support, manufacturing, and other crucial missions are being uh, conducted as close to as normal as possible. Uh, with a lot of support from the global community, the investment community, the multinational companies, and its customers helping us to go through uh, this specific crisis. We've equally seen the sector utilize its capabilities and mobilize its workforce to help other national needs beyond just supporting its own business. Technology companies and technology executives have been a big part of identifying national challenges about the situation of the hostages and abductees uh, health-related uh, and, and other technical issues, and really trying to create quick solutions that can be put in the hands of government and civil society alike and help mitigate the immediate needs of the country. A very important part of the high-tech sector being tightly connected to the global value chain was the very strong support shown by the different parts in the global community. We've seen strong statements from CEOs of multinational companies, leading companies. We've seen 500 venture capital and investment firms in Israel showing so, strong support from Israel. And of course, uh, one must highlight the very, very strong support of the president of the US, both in his speeches and his visit to Israel. 